When parents send their kids to participate in recreational activities, they expect that their kids will be in good hands with trusted adults. However, some Omaha parents are upset that no one disclosed to them that their daughter's soccer trainer had been convicted of a sex crime. I sat down with a father who tells me his trust with the Metro Wolf Soccer Club is broken. Between June and July of 2022, Josh Monroe's then four-year-old daughter was enrolled in soccer camp with the Metro Wolf Soccer Club of Omaha. Monroe tells 6 News he pulled his daughter off the team because he says the coach yelled at the kids. He yelled at them. And it wasn't like he was yelling at high school kids. I played high school sports, so I can, I can understand that. But it was four six, seven, eight-year-olds that he is yelling at about not doing something right. And so we took our daughter out of that organization. And Monroe says he would have pulled his daughter much sooner because now, seven months later, he and his wife just learned this week that same person, Jason Dishman, is a registered sex offender. Found out about it through passing with another parent that was in the same camp that we were. And she said, hey, by the way, found out that the coach was a sex offender. My daughter called him coach. I viewed him as the coach. Other parents did. In 2010, Jason Dishman pleaded no contest to attempted sexual assault of a child. He was accused of being inappropriate with a 15-year-old female soccer player on a team he was then coaching. Dishman was sentenced to five years probation and ordered to register as a sex offender for 25 years. That part's frustrating. It's frustrating that we trust our kids and we signed up to help our daughter grow in soccer and we trust her to be around adults that are going to care for her and we were, li we were lied to, point blank. Um, nobody came out and told us about this. And for me as a parent, that's hurtful. And it breaks a lot of trust with the community that probably doesn't need to be broken. Two days ago, Josh's wife emailed David Clements, the Metro Wolves Soccer Club administrator, asking what the club is doing to protect the children in its care. In his response, Clements said, quote, he admitted his conviction at the time of his application to the board, which was also when his son enrolled in our program. He has had no further offenses of any type since then, has a stable home life with a six-year-old son and another child on the way, and passed the relevant U.S. Soccer Federation mandated background checks and training. At his request, we never put him in any one-on-one -on -one training sessions, only group training sessions with other staff present. Nor will he be a head coach slash authority figure on any team with us, only a group trainer again at his request. We did debate his hiring internally, but deemed him not to be at risk of being a repeat offender, end quote. Six News also reached out to Clemens, who tells us, quote, All coaches and trainers, whether parents or not, are held to the safe sports standards and practices that the club adheres to. The safe sports standard is all interactions are observable and interruptible, which means another adult has to be in the immediate vicinity. No one, whether staff or volunteer, is allowed to be with any players alone, and there are no one-on-one -on -one trainings allowed, end quote. The Monroes don't understand how a registered sex offender passed a background check with the U.S. Soccer Federation. They believe in second chances. The great news for them, so does most of America. We do not believe in second chances when you do something inappropriate to a child that you should be put in that same environment. So his offense was with a child that he met on a soccer field. You don't give that same opportunity again. And that was given to him. And that information wasn't disclosed to us as parents. The Monroes say their daughter will not be returning to the Metro Wolves Soccer Club, and they want other parents to be aware that a registered sex offender convicted of crimes against a minor is helping to train kids.